In this video, I'm going to show you how to max text in CapCut for PC and you can also use this technique for CapCut Cap app and CapCut mobile. So it's going to work in every way and you're going to learn how to do it professionally. This is going to give you a cinematic look to your videos. Without wasting much of your time, let's get straight right onto it. So the first step is to bring in our footage, which is this footage we already have here. You can get this footage from Pixel and the likes. And if you want it, I can always make it available for you guys to download. So the next step you want to do is to bring in your text. For me, it's watch now. So if you're watching this video, you're watching a tutorial. So I expect you to watch this tutorial to the very end if you really want to learn. If you don't want to learn, then this video is not for you, but trust me. If you want to learn, you want to watch this video to the end because it's going to show you quickly how you can max text in CapCut. Right. So now the first thing we're going to do is me bringing in the text, which I already just showed you how to do. And now you want to do the next best thing, which is to come to max. Remember, we are trying to learn how to max text in CapCut. Now we want to click on horizontal max. Once we click on that, it's going to cut it out as you would see. Now you get, might get confused why did it cut it out after I clicked on the horizontal max. It's quite simple and this is what you want to do. If you look at this line, as you can see the line going through your screen, if you drag it down a bit, you see your text is there. But we don't want it to max downward, we want it to max upward following the wave of the C, right? So we are going to hit on the sign, press down your left mouse click button and you're going to turn that to 180. You want it to be at 180, perfect. And now you're going to bring down that line. You remember the line I showed you in the beginning. You're going to take that down completely so that the whole text is totally out of the frame, right? Now you're not done yet. You want to click on add keyframe and that's going to be our first keyframe. And now we are going to be moving frame by frame. Usually I would move to the end of this clip and just max all with it. But that's not what I want to do. I want to move frame by frame to get the best look. For instance, if we move to the end of this clip, uh, let's just say somewhere here, right? Let's just say somewhere here where we have this last big wave forming. Just like that. Okay, we see that disappearance of this last big frame and I can decide to just put it, drag it all out there. Right. And if I go play it from the beginning, this is what we'll get. I'm sorry about that. So this is what we'll get. Just playing it from the beginning. Let me get out that line. So this is what we'll get. You can see so it's actually good right so you can do it like that but usually i like to go frame by frame why do i like to go frame by frame so let me delete this first keyframe i'll show you why i like to go frame by frame well i like to go frame by frame because time to time i want to turn this keyframe from to make one other part appear better than one so let's just do the first frame so you press down your shift key button and move and your right click button that's the first frame okay so now you know how to do that so we're just going to move frame by frame so that's the first frame i'm going to move it up good so that's the first frame and as you can see for here we can just turn it like that no we don't want it that way we want it the other way like so okay so just a little and you can do shift and left right mouse click button again and it will just keep following it that way you want to follow the biggest point i will do it again okay you want to just keep following it like that till we get to what we want and then we have that full cinematic view of it as you can see now the wave is more to this bottom side so i would do some little adjustments just 
not this way the other way um sorry about that so just do that something like that okay i just want it to be like that and now i can move and follow it up like that all right not difficult at all you can just keep doing that so that it looks like the text is actually making the wave as it moves so now i will just try since it's leveling out already i will just try to level this out also 90 degrees uh, 180 degrees i will just level that out for 180 degrees like that perfect and now i can go to the end and just increase that and just do one more get that to the top and now we can just go all out so now if we play it this is what we get as you can see it's moving slowly with the waves okay see it's moving slowly but the last part was kind of fast so i'll just move this a little so it's not that fast so now i'll just play from here and you can see how easy it is moving with the frame but if you don't like that quick curve you have here you can just keep moving with the frame like that so it does not give you that quick wave form you can actually adjust it accordingly for instance you can just get them out okay you can just press down your auto key button and then click all the keyframes you have here for instance i'm just trying to make it easy i'm showing you the way you can make it more cinematic but if you want the easiest way to do it then that is what i just provided for you so you can take it to when from the beginning this is the wave we are monitoring right these two big waves you can just monitor that and once it's totally out this is where it ends right and this is where we want to bring in our text okay as you can see so for this one we are done we can go now to basics and just move this text up a bit just to match that wave nothing difficult and now if we go to the beginning we'll play it i'm going to show you how to fade so you want to watch to the end so that you learn also how to fade because that fade will also give it that unique feel so let's go back to max and now you see this triangle you want to fade a bit okay you see that you want to fade that a bit so that it's not looking full bold you want to fade it a bit so that by the time you take it from the beginning it's going to look more like this see you've added the face so you can see the sand beneath the text and that's how to do it it's not complicated at all i hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to max a test in CapCut. See you on the next one. You can watch the video to your left and you'll learn a lot from it. Stay blessed. See you on the next one.